Hey YouTube, last night when I was listening to UXW Bill's show, I was uh, cleaning up my workbench, not that you can tell it ever really got cleaned up, it was much worse. Um, anyway, last night I had a whole bunch of cords that were down there on the floor, and they're now up here, they're going to get sorted into bags and get labeled and all that kind of stuff, but I found... This pair of e-machine speakers, they're, they're labeled e-machines, they went with my wife's computer that has now been completely overhauled, new power supply, new um, motherboard, new processor, the whole nine yards. Um, except when I redid the motherboard in there, this passive set of speakers would no longer be driven by the onboard sound. So what did I have to do? I just kind of had to throw them down the cord bin down there and uh, let them rot for a while. And then I came across them again and I thought, you know, it'd be nice if my iPod had a little something to uh, play into. It didn't have to be really loud. By golly, my iPod can actually drive these. I listen to a lot of talk radio on on uh, on my iPod, so let's uh, let's bring up something. Let's uh, let's go uh, issues, etc. So let's go. Let's let's go right there. It'll drive them. Others address his own time. And I, I always like to make that. Doesn't actually need uh, any uh, extra amplifier. I mean, that's as, that's as loud as it goes. We would be to address their day. And so, so that's, that's more than perfect for listening in a quiet room in the house when my, uh, when my daughter isn't yabbering on. But uh, that might actually be useful somewhere sometime. Oh, by the way. My wife won this and a, a, a door prize at the local music store. But I love this. It's a recording, do not disturb. Then, firing the drummer. The number of times I wanted to fire the drummer. Okay, that's all I got. So, if you've got any e-machine speakers sitting around and you've got an iPod, Mike. Keep them around for a while if you want to have a small speaker system for your iPod to drive.